In Anderson County, we've learned the name of a man who died during an hours long standoff with deputies. 42 year old Robert Nason Jr. was being evicted from property on Fields Avenue when deputies responded to a disturbance this morning. 7 News reporter Sophia Radaba has been following the developments all day and she has the newest information on the investigation. The scene has almost totally cleared, but that wasn't the story a few hours ago. You can see here this box truck building and then there's a camper behind it. All of it is almost completely burned. Deputies say the man who owns this property set it all on fire and then took his own life. Ash, burnt brick and charred metal are some of what's left at the scene on Fields Avenue in Anderson, but also a devastated family. Well, his parents are heartbroken. Uh, he has two sisters, one that lives locally and one that lives out of town. Deputies say the 42 year old victim was living next to his parents on someone else's land that had been loaned to him. They have been working for several months to try to get him to move off the property. Uh, today uh, was the final day that he had to be off the property. The sheriff's office showed up to evict him and that's when the situation took a turn for the worse. He barricaded himself in the camper. Uh, the officers saw smoke coming out of the camper and uh, then they heard a gunshot. Deputies say the 42 year old also set his box truck in another building on the property on fire. He moved here three and a half years ago from Colorado to be closer to his elderly parents. After talking to his family, the Anderson coroner told 7 News the man served in the military for five years and was never the same since. They said in the last six months he's really had a tough time with the uh, mental health issues. The coroner says mental health is one of the biggest problems in Anderson County. And if you're struggling, there is help available. I feel like Anderson County uh, provides the type of service that we need, but uh, sometimes patients don't uh, reach out or seek those or they don't have the ability to do that. Deputies say the situation is still under investigation. The coroner says an autopsy will be scheduled for the next coming days. In Anderson, Sophia Radaball, 7 News. If you or anyone you know is suffering from mental health issues, you can contact the National Suicide Prevention Hotline. It's just three numbers, 988. Reedville Road in Spartanburg's reopened.